Ian Foster with Center Cam here. My wife has allowed me to use her workstation and she has a bouncy chair. So this is a new adventure for all of us. I wanted to give you a quick unboxing and setup tour. Many of you, I have already received your Center Cams and some of you are going to. So this will be a way to get started quickly. Clip, camera, simple packaging, it's all recyclable. Pull the camera out of the box, and here's the assembly. So you've got five feet of USB cord available, and immediately you get your first choice. So you feed the USB through the holes in the handle there. Now your first choice has to do with how much of this flex tube to use. So we have one feet of flex tube, four more feet of USB, five feet total. And where do you actually put this? Well, that depends on your monitor and your workstation. When I say fully adjustable, it's fully adjustable to your workstation. So you, it's, we enter the realm of middle screen webcams where it's not just put it there like a bird that's just perched there looking at everything. We actually have to make choices with center cam. So I look at this screen and if I can imagine a grid, one third there, one third there, one third there, one third there. That's in photography, it's rule of thirds. Generally, I want my center cam to get about there, end up about there. Um, now, it can go down there, and that just depends on what my video conference is going to look like. Right now, my video conference is a video conference of one with me, myself, and I. I guess that would be three people, but I'm only going to see one of them. Anyway, um, I'm going to put this window up there and I'm going to get into customization of your video conference experience first or er, in a second. But anyway, so that's about as much as I'm going to use on this one. I have a bigger monitor at my workstation, so I typically feed out a little bit more than that. Now I'm working on a Mac, so I have a USB dongle here. And I plug that in and immediately recognize this FHD camera. We need to get that changed with the manufacturer. We didn't quite make it for this round. So we change the input and you notice immediately, oh no, center cam doesn't work. Well, I don't know many cameras that can overcome a lens cap. So this is just a compression cap. We put it on, take it off and boom. And if you did that, it happens the best of us. I've done that many times with a regular camera and I've even done it with center cam. So now this is our video conference experience. The second thing that can get you going really fast is that there's two ways to adjust the center cam. One is the actual hardware and then the other one is the, the window of whatever app we're using. So if I wanted to adjust hardware, simple, usually it requires two hands. I love to see some user videos of doing it with one hand like that. And then if you wanted to, you know, if, if, if I were at a chair that were higher, I'd be up here. So I could just go like that. Um, so that's what we mean by fully adjustable, depending on your workflow. Like if I had a presentation right here, I could put this over here. I probably want to adjust that a little bit. And then the second thing is what I'm about to do right here. The second way to adjust the center cam's focal angle is to move your zoom window. So if I was in a, you know, a video conference with four or five people, you know, I may want the framing a little bit differently. So I can adjust this back up, middle it, you know, if I have a presentation, you go like this. Generally speaking, you know, if I had, if you can imagine four people in this conference window right here, and this person right here on the lower right, we're talking, easiest way for me to do this would be to go like that and then I can move that and then I'm actually looking at them while they're talking. The other way to do that is just move the zoom window. Now I keep on saying zoom window, I should be saying video conference window, we don't have any affiliation with Zoom or Skype or Teams or anybody. Um, anyway, so generally speaking framing wise, you're going to put the center cam right about there. I mean, if you really wanted to put it in between your eyes, you can do that and that would give you the most uh, authentic eye contact experience, but it's a little bit weird. So typically I put the center cam right about there. That allows me to look at them without actually like 
feeling like I've created a cyborg situation. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to show you? Ooh, settings. So I'm going to have a, a longer tutorial on settings, but in preferences, unless you have the paid version of Zoom, you're already in 720p. So it means that our tech isn't going to be performing as you know, high as its capabilities are. Your Wi-Fi connection will also bump down, you know, the HD optimization. Um, light can also, you know, if you're in a cave or you're in really, really direct sunlight, center cam has to make certain choices how it deals with light and darkness. And so all of those things can affect the quality of the feed that you're actually getting from the camera. Those are all computer room lighting um, issues. And so I wanted to set you guys up. I have, you know, daylight conditions here. Um, but if you go to video in your settings menu, this is for Zoom, but pretty much every um, video conference software has this capability. You see here, I clicked HD. You can unclick HD. It changed the framing a little bit. And it also changes, you see, this is just standard depth. And so all of a sudden it's a little bit softer, a little more pixelated. If I were full screen, you can see that feed is different than that feed in full screen. So this is especially important for content creators. You know, if you're gonna be using center cam as your input for like reading a center, uh, teleprompter or something like that, um, the settings menu, you're gonna to have to do some work there. Um, what are some other options? So touch up my appearance. Yes, please. I'm a little bit softer. All of a sudden, I'm five years younger. Well done, Zoom. Um, now I look like a filter. I look like a dreamy filter. Anyway, most video conferences have this option, um, and there's a lot that can be done in in the settings menu of you know Zoom, uh, Skype, Teams, things like that. You're more limited on Mac than you are on PC. PC has a lot more built-in controls um, for the video conference softwares than Mac does. And in a future tutorial that is gonna drop here in like two minutes, um, I'll show you how you can get around some of those lighting issues on Mac.